Howdy. Today, we'll be taking a look at Planet X Jupiter Metallic Edition and Jupiter Metallic Edition. And, you know, the more I look at these figures, the more I think they kind of look like Optimus Prime from Transformers Fall of Cybertron. But that's probably just a coincidence. Both of these figures come with a sword, a battle axe, and a blaster. The blaster can be held with the handle on the bottom, or you can flip up the handle, move this back piece to the bottom, and attach it directly to the end of the forearm. In his robot mode, Jupiter has a very commanding presence. This is Planet X's second and third iteration of this figure, and I think it looks really good. I think they definitely have the sculpt nailed down, to a T even. As you can see, the second iteration, despite being called the Metallic Edition, only features metallic blue paint on the legs. The rest of it is finished with a red paint. However, their third iteration, uh, PX-10C, is their latest and greatest Metallic Edition of this figure. Finally finished, as it should have been from the beginning, in metallic blue and metallic red paint. I think the metallic red paint really helps to finish off the look of this character. I don't think they can get much better than this. However, unfortunately, where the figure looks very good, it pretty much lacks in articulation. The arms can only go to about 90 degrees, the legs can barely reach 90 degrees without spoiling some of the transformation, and overall the bulk of this character doesn't lend to it the greatest of articulation, which is a little unfortunate because otherwise I think this character is almost perfect. Here's how Planet X Jupiter scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Sweep, and Leader Class Grimlock. Here's how Planet X Jupiter scales with Deluxe Class Bumblebee, Voyager Class Soundwave, and Combiner Ruination. Here's how Planet X Jupiter scales with Planet X Fantasis, Mars, and Genesis. In his vehicle mode, Jupiter is a truck, a futuristic armored truck, bank truck, something like that. I'll just call it a truck mode. In his vehicle mode, Jupiter looks really good, and it feels really good. All of the parts tab together nicely, and it feels pretty solid. There's nothing loose or fiddly about it. I also only transformed the 10C second metallic edition because, well, I think it looks a lot better than the first metallic edition and there's not really any difference between the two, so I figured that I'd just show you this one. As you can see, you can also use tabs on the blaster to peg it into the top of the vehicle mode, and you know what? I don't think that looks all that bad. Another thing I have to give them credit for is just how unified it looks. I don't know, there are no empty gaps or hollow parts or parts that look incomplete. There's no kibble from robot mode. It just turns into a really good looking, satisfying truck mode. Or actually, maybe it's a semi truck. It does have six wheels. At any rate, I think it looks really good. And I think the paint application on the back of the exhausts, I guess, it almost resembles burnt titanium, with the color fading from a silver to a nice blue color. I think they did a really good job on this vehicle mode. Here's how Planet X Jupiter scales with Deluxe Class Deep Cover, Voyager Class Artfire, and Leader Class Laser Optimus Prime. Here's how Planet X Jupiter scales with Deluxe Class Sideswipe and Voyager Class Blaster. Here's how Planet X Jupiter scales with Planet X Phoebiter, Asclepius, and Moors. I hope you've enjoyed this brief look at Planet X Jupiter. If there are any other figures you'd like me to take a look at next, leave a comment down below. And as always, I'm Leo, reminding you that plastic toys don't belong in plastic prisons. See you next time.